Okay, hi Lynn. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Sorry for coming late. Okay, so Lynn, uh, today let us have pre-intermediate. We are nearly finished with pre-intermediate. We are already in unit 7. Okay, finished. Almost, almost finished. Okay, please answer this activity, Lynn. We're talking here about money, money, and money. Okay, look at the photos. Where are the people? Match each photo with the place below.
Okay, so this is. Okay, do you uh, have the number one is um number one is yes. play no number two is playing field and number one I don't know. Okay, number one, this is a hall, and this was in the playing field. Okay, so look at this. Can you please, this is in school, can you please name? Uh, number one is... Is classroom. Mm -hmm. Number two is... Corridor number two is number two is oh, I think it's head teacher office. Oh, head teacher's office, correct. And number three, number three is there, stairs. Stairs. Okay. Number four is um, play playground. This is uh, or I think is um gym. Gym five. Number four is a sign lab. Okay, five is science lab. Okay, very good. So we have here Lynn. Laboratory, head teacher, the teacher in training school. Corridor is a long narrow passage in the building, as you can see in the picture. Reception, the area inside entrance or hotel. Bottom, it means lowest part, bottom. Corner, a part of something where two or more sides. That's corner. So please describe the photo. What you can see, what is happening. Okay, you can... Write your answer in the chat box and please use the phrases below. Look at that. This is in the ground. In the, uh, yeah, in the ground. So what do you think? What you can see? And what is happening? Uh, I see the photos show our people are playing the instrument. Okay, and what the, instrument is that? Uh, it's violin. Yeah, it's violin. And on the top, on the bottom, on the... Uh -huh. Uh, they must be very enjoy the enjoy the 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 lesson. Uh, the girl in the the girl in the way. Uh, in the middle, there is a girl playing with a short hair playing the violin. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, correct. Okay. So our answer we have. Okay, so probably Lin. Okay, next one. Now compare one and two. 
to describe the main similarities and the main differences. Compare one and two. Do you think? The first photo show the people are studying uh, English and music lesson, and they are playing violin. And the second photo show the the student are playing in the in the in the grass field and they are playing football. Uh, in the first photo, the I think just we can listening the we can listen to the music and the hall is very silent. But in for but in second photo, there's lots of voice. They're very, very crowded. Uh, two photo are not similar. You just tell me, or you can write in the chat box, Lynn. It is easy.
Oke, okay, Lin. Oke, okay, Lin, finish. Ya, yeah. yes, I just read, read it to you. Oke, okay. next one. So, you take a picture that your school has a music or sports club. What other clubs are there? Does your school has a music or a sports club? What other clubs are there? Um, my school don't have music club, but we have sport club. Uh, what? is football and hmm. badminton. Ah, okay. Football and badminton. But I'm not a member of it. You're not a member of the sports club? Why? You don't like Lin? Yeah, yes. And the school's, the head is a teacher. Yes. And say that is for boy. For boy? Yes. Uh, okay, okay. So we have here. You listen, Lin, to the two candidates answering the questions in exam. Which phrases does the candidate use? Lesson seven G, exercises six and seven. One. I'd like to start by saying that I don't believe schools spend enough money on any of these things. The reason I say that. Is that very few students in our school play musical instruments, and not many do sport either, except PE, which is a lesson. Not only that, we hardly ever go on school trips, perhaps just once a year. Now, let's move on to the question of which of the three schools should spend the most money on. If I have to choose just one, I'd say that we should spend the most on music. I'll tell you why I think that. First, there are lots of opportunities for students to do sport outside school. In my town, for example, there's a sports centre where we can swim, go to the gym, play squash, basketball, football and so on. Second, Students often go on trips and holidays with their parents, so there's no need for the school to spend money on school trips. Finally, and most importantly, very few people have musical instruments at home, and not many parents play musical instruments themselves. So without encouragement and help from the school, most students will miss out on music. To sum up, I believe that schools should spend money on all these things, but music is the most important. Okay. Okay, please check. Okay, so we have here, oh, answer, look at that. Okay, so we have, I'll tell you why I think that. 
And the reason I say that, one, two, three, four, five. There are five phrases that being used in the conversation. Okay, next one. I'm sorry. Okay, next in structuring your speech. Please listen. Okay, you look at the photos, compare photos A and B. What do you think are their similarities and what do you think are their differences? This is A and B. Please check their similarity and differences mean. Okay, Lynn. Okay, please. What is the answer? Okay, just check, Lynn, ha. Which do you think is the similarity between the two, uh, between the two pictures and which do you think is the differences? Uh, you can see in both photo there a teacher teach the student how to play the violin and free me. Okay. Next, letter B. The first photo show the black background is in a classroom, in the music class lesson, and in photo B, show the Streaming lesson. Okay, very good. So this is about music and this is about what the swimming lesson. Okay, so let's move to the next link. Okay, let us have seven F now. So here, Lynn, you read the text. Has. Think of three possible things you can spend the money on. Okay. So which of that, if you had one million pounds, okay, to spend, but I couldn't spend any of it in on your tab, what would you do with it? Write an essay and include three ideas 
give reasons for your choices and say what effect the money would have. Okay, just short, make a short essay. Lean, you can write in the chat box. Okay, so and you have to choose uh, and please try to think three possible things you could spend the money. Example, give charity. Example, I will have to keep it. Or example, I will give it to your mom and dad. Okay, please uh, make a short essay. That includes this one. Oh, I will just wait, Lina. Just make an essay, Lina. Just a short essay, Lin. You can write in the chat box, Lina. Uh, uh, I can read. Uh, I will I give money to a charity which help the poor person and homeless. Okay, very good. I will buy their, them some food for lunch. I give I I would give money to the to the to the okay, I give money to the okay so these are the poor people so they could you would could buy make, the give money to the make the life better. Okay. So we have here, Lynn, please try to answer this one. Read the essay and answer. Please read the essay and answer the question. Lin, I will hide this floating.
Okay, you're done, Lynn? Okay, it's okay, Lynn. I will wait. Okay, Lynn. So, there are questions. How many paragraphs are there? Can you read? Did you read the situation? There are... Okay, we have five paragraphs. One, two, three, four, and the first one here. Okay. In which paragraph does the writer mention all three ways of spending the money? What paragraph, Lynn? One, mm -hmm. two... Four or number five? Number two. Number two. Okay, in which paragraph does explain who would number get half the money? Four. What is your answer? Uh, Okay. I think it's paragraph three. Paragraph three? Yes. Okay. In which paragraph does the writer paraphrase the main point of the essay? Mm, paragraph one. It's paragraph three and four and number five. What do you think, number five? I think it's one. Paragraph one. Okay, paragraph one. Very good. Okay. So, Lynn, we don't have enough time. So, on Sunday, I know, Tuesday, 9 p.m., teacher will gonna add uh add what you call this one add um, add some time okay add some minutes okay okay lean Eileen okay I will see you on Sunday I know bye, bye teacher yeah okay Tuesday